always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. Cold today with a little light snow, but it is nothing compared to what they saw in Marquette. I'm just going to step out of the way here for a second so you can see this picture. It's incredible. Total storm accumulation was more than 30 inches from this system. And Marquette, Michigan, setting a new February daily record for snow. That means out of all of their Februaries, this is the most snow that they saw in one day, a new record of 21.6 inches. So a shout out to the viewers who sent us these pictures from the Marquette area. Now we do have some snow in our forecast, but it's going to be minimal. We're looking for a widespread one to three inches of accumulation with some heavier totals closer to the Indiana state line. Starting to get used to seeing some bare pavement and grass out there, but we are going to have to use our shovels come Friday morning. The arrival time of the snow is going to be right around commuting time or your evening commute, so to speak, for tomorrow, so close to about 5 p.m. If we look at your winter weather alerts, you can see that the southern row of counties for Michigan has been added to winter weather advisory, and this begins at 2 o'clock tomorrow, and it goes through 8 a.m. on Friday. But the storm system is likely going to be moving in just after 2 and wrapping up by the time we get to Friday. Your future cast displays this very well. So if we step this forward, this is tomorrow, 8 a.m., opening to sunshine. It'll be a cold start to the day, but at least we should see the sun. As we continue on through Thursday, there's noon and here's five. It's the afternoon to about 5 p.m. that we'll start to see some snow slide into the area, which means that our skies are going to go from sunny to overcast through the day. And after the fading sunshine, we'll eventually start to see the snow stack up. This is going to be running into some dry air. So I don't think that we're going to be seeing a ton of snow out of this system, but still, due to the track and the steadiness of the snow, it looks like we should see about one to three inches of accumulation, highest totals further to the south. Here's Friday, 8 a.m. By that point in time, we clear back out. We could even see the sunshine a touch before some afternoon clouds return for the evening hours. And then it looks like Saturday and Sunday we should be uh, seeing some temperatures that are going to be close to about 30 to 35. Here's a look at the eight-day forecast in full. So 29 for third, uh, Thursday. Friday should be up near 27. You can see a chance for some snow showers early on Friday, but much of the day should be dry. And then Saturday and Sunday are trending to be quite nice here. We've got temperatures that are going to be bouncing up above freezing. And typically, that's not great for potholes. But what's really great about this particular forecast is we're not getting very much new snow, and we should have a really nice dry trend here. Potholes usually need moisture to continue that expansion and that formation. So the fact that we have steady sunshine here potentially for a good portion of next week means that we have a good chance of drying out a lot of those areas that are starting to thaw out and help to reduce the mud and the pothole potential. Also next week we kick off March, the month of March. And I know it's always a kind of a thing to see how it enters into the forecast. This year it looks like it's going to be entering in like a lamb. So let's yeah. hope that uh, the old saying does not hold true this year. <laughs> if it stays like a lamb. Right. Yeah. Stay like a lamb for us, please. Okay, Ellen. Thank, thank you, you, Ellen. Mm -hmm.